So my name is Mr. McGinnis. I'm the director of choral activities here uh, at Cleaver Regional High School. Um, I am the director of choral activities at the high school, which entails me teaching uh, the vocal ensemble, which is the top audition choir here, um, and the concert choir, which is actually split into three different sections that I teach throughout the day. Uh, my, my favorite time of the year is, is right now, just because there's so many awesome things going on. Um, we have a lot of performances that, that, that we do uh, during the school year. Putting all that hard work and everything and then finally coming together for the culminating performance, that's, that, that's just great. To see the kids on stage and to be able to, to see them performing at a high level and to be able to teach them about all of this in-depth stuff and then have them perform it on stage at, at such a great and you know like come uh, such a great time and to have such camaraderie during the Christmas time I think I think that's really really awesome and really special. Um, my name is Mrs. Kanji Mamily. Um, I've been at Clearview for 10 years and I have taught all classes but I currently am teaching AP Studio Art, um, Photography and Experiences in Art. My name is Mrs. Koberlein. I've been at Clearview Regional High School for, I think about eight years now, maybe nine years. Um, currently I'm teaching Experiences in Art and Art One. My name is Dennis Weaver. I am one of the art teachers here at Clearview Regional. I have been here for 26 years. Uh, I teach primarily Art 2 and Art 3, but I've taught everything from experiences up to AP Art 4. And the way we teach art class, um, most of the art teachers anyway, uh, would be a day or two of presentation, samples, demonstrations and whatnot, and then you might have four or five or six days of kids just working at their own pace after that. So um, usually it's, a, it's a, an opportunity for teachers to walk around and help kids individually without lecturing every single day. Uh, new Jersey State requires all students in New Jersey to have a find and or performing art class and experiences in art is a way to get your art credit with uh, maybe not having a lot of interest or talent in art. Um, and sometimes hopefully students will find that they actually do have some talent and they maybe are interested in art and will follow on to Art One and then proceed with other teachers to the upper level arts. Um, art tends to be a little bit of community. It's a family feel, especially when you get into the upper art classes. Um, for the AP, you'll come in, there'll be a lot of talk about whose project's working on what. They kind of banter back and forth about how to improve their things and sometimes it's just about their weekend too. So we're a little family in here. Uh, we understand that not every student that graduates from here is going to be an art major, uh, so we need to give something that everybody can benefit from, and I think that opportunity comes in uh, the chance to do some, like I said, problem solving, and just to really be creative and do things a little bit differently than the rest of the school day. I am Mr. Ornis. I. Uh, this is my first year here at Clearview, my third year uh, as a teacher, uh, and I teach symphonic band and wind ensemble here at the high school. I work with the seventh and eighth grade bands, and I teach two periods of guitar. My name is Tom Mariello. I teach general music, high school percussion, and middle school percussion, and I've been teaching at Clearview for 15 years. The symphonic band and wind ensemble um, both put on multiple concerts a year. Uh, and including they will head to Rowan University to participate in the South Jersey um, Band Festival in March. Um, and, so, and so for me that's a, huge, uh, that's a huge benefit of taking music courses. It's just a different way to express yourself and, we, and really our, our student musicians express themselves through music. Um, and so that's, uh, a very that can be a very powerful tool for those who need an, out for an, uh, an output. We have many students doing great things in percussion in college and professionally. One student to mention is Jared Angid. He went on tour with Flashdance for United States tour and he just did a world tour with Beauty and the Beast and now he's playing American Music Theater in Lancaster, PA. He started the percussion program here as a seventh grader at Clearview and he was just an average student and then he started to excel from 10th grade and decided to go to college for music, went to Rowan University. He actually got paid to go to Penn State for his master's and now he's playing, playing professionally.
My name is Diana Gable. I've been at Clearview for 16 years. I've been in the high school about the last 12 years. I started the piano program here about nine years ago, which has grown over the years. I have four piano classes during the day. A large portion of the time is dedicated to individual practice or times when the students can work with each other and then I will come around to check on their progress. Um, I think it's, it's really exciting to see the students learn how to read music, those of them who have never had any kind of lessons or practice in that before. If you're not a music major, you can still reap a lot of benefits from a music class in that you learn a little bit about your own learning style. There's a lot of independent work, time management. It helps you stay organized because you need to keep track of your progress. Um, I think it really helps with your self-confidence and your public speaking skills.